busy holiday shopping week. You have Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, and your wallets are probably feeling the effects. Well, joining me in Michigan Matters again is Ayala Rubio with Michigan State University's Broad College of Business. And Ayala, how much are consumers spending for the holidays this year, especially from the deals that we just saw? Well, it's a pleasure being here. Um, less than last year, probably. Yes. Um, okay. So uh, analysts are debating if it will be a bit more or a bit less, but certainly around what we spent last year. Consumers are trying not to spend more money this year. All right, and a large part of that could be inflation. It's raising prices everywhere. So how is inflation really impacting those sales for retailers? And then changing how consumers spend their money. Yeah, that is true. So we are inflation fatigued by now. And it's not just inflation. It's not just that prices are continue to increase. It's the fact that they're already very high mm. for us. I mean, rent alone is almost 30% high since, um, went high 30% since 2020. So we are more, more cognizant about our spending and expenses than we were last year. So obviously a large part of people's paychecks probably going towards your rent or your mortgage, your needs. So when it comes to finding those gifts, what are people looking for? So from our survey, what we found is as in last, uh, last year, people are focusing on low prices, but that is not enough. They're, they are looking for real value. Mm -hmm. So we see the switch to something that is more valuable, not necessarily the cheapest thing in the store, but something that is not expensive and has value, which means those, those things that you need, so they won't buy meaningless gifts or just splurge on gifts that have no you know, use, they will focus on the things that they really need. So something practical like wearing a jacket for the winter yeah. season or hey, maybe even an experience or even baking something. I know we were talking about making cookies earlier, right? You put in your time, not your money. Yes, so consumers trying to find ways to save but still give gifts, right? So making your own gift, especially the smaller one, yeah. Um, this is something that consumers are trying to gravitate to in order to save money. Also, it's something that you can do with your kids, so it makes it like more of a holiday experience that is shared by everyone. Oh, I like that. So. And ways to save, because we're spending all this money, how yes. we, can we get those deals? Yes, yeah, so of course we compare online, which is important, but we also, we budgeted, a lot of consumers budgeted for um, holiday gifts and also monitoring our expenses and I hate to say that but cut on the people that we give gifts to oh okay we're limiting the list exactly <laughs> so those people that we are not you know we're not nice to us we don't talk much <laughs> just just be ruthless <laughs> this year just you know they will be back when <laughs> times will be great again quality over quantity absolutely Ayala thank you for joining me in Michigan Matters and uh giving that great helpful tip as well. Appreciate it. <laughs> With pleasure. And don't forget the pets. Don't forget your pets too. They're part of the family too. Give them the gift. Well, let's send it to First Alert Meteorologist Justin Bradford. Justin, if people want to take their pets for a walk today, how's it looking out there? Uh, it's still cold, but you know it is late November.